Ooh. Uh, okay, that's not good. Oh, ugh. There's bad stuff out here. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And you can die. Right here at the pyramid. And I'm trying to get a... Whoa. Hey. Whoa. A little baby thingy. Die. 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 Goodness. Ooh, I'm hurting. Let's eat. Let's eat some more. Wow. All I was trying to do is come out here so I could get a view of the pyramid. Hello, Mr. Spider. You seem to be friendly right now, but you can die too. Goodness gracious. So here it is. Pyramid. Big. Whew. There's baddies out here. Hello, Mr. Creeper. I saw you sneaking around back there. Creeping, as it were. So, this is uh, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Or Khufu as it, uh, I guess, is more properly known. Oh, wow. Let me eat some more. Oh, you know, we're good. So, outside. It's big. It's gargantuan. It's big. I don't need all this stuff. I want to come out here to show you just how big it is. It's gargantuan. Um, this thing is pretty much to scale. That was the, uh, the basic... The basic idea. It's as close as I could make it in Minecraft. Um, the, the angle of the pyramid is not quite right because you can't make arbitrary angles in Minecraft. But uh, the, it's it's close enough. It's about the right height. It's, it's the right width. It's a little bit shorter than the pyramid originally was. Whew. So, let me give you a tour. I, I have my uh, video setting set to moody because I wanted it to look dark inside. So, this is the location of the actual entrance, the original entrance. There is a, another entrance that was made below um, quite some time after the pyramid was finished. The pyramid was built like 3500 BC or 2500 BCE or something. It was a long time ago, almost 5,000 years ago. It's pretty big. Uh, and, and they seem to think it took about 10 years to build, which is kind of crazy. They got it done in 10 years. But the official entrance was up here. It's a little bit off center. The, the tip of the pyramid's over there. And it's on the, I have it there on the correct side, on the south side of the pyramid. And the uh, there was a stone blocking the entrance. And it go, leads to a downward sloping path okay <clears throat> so as we start down the descending passageway as it's called it goes down at a, a slope down towards the center and towards the base of the pyramid and this this is actually bigger than the actual passageway is the patch passageway is so short that you pretty much have, it's kind of square and you kind of would have to crawl through it but i didn't want to do that we'll talk about this in a minute and it goes down all the way down to the the base of the the ground floor of the pyramid is somewhere around in here i think and it descends down below the base of the pyramid and at the bottom of the descending passage is the uh, subterranean chamber and they're not entirely sure what uh what the subterranean chamber was intended to be for but it appears to be unfinished it's kind of roughly hewn and bloop. and this room the way i have this room here is almost certainly too large uh, it's larger than the actual room but i was I'm having trouble finding uh, reliable information on the dimensions of the bottom of the bottom chamber here and then out the back of the subterranean chamber was a another passageway that just kind of ends so the speculation is that this was originally going to be the burial chamber which is typical for for the pyramids 
in Egypt where the descending passage would go down below the the bedrock, what they call it, below the, the ground, the foundation of the pyramid and the burial chambers underneath the pyramid. But Khufu, who was the pharaoh at the time that the pyramid was built and it was intended to be his uh, resting place, apparently they think maybe changed his mind and decided he wanted his burial chamber to be farther up inside the pyramid. So, there in the the roof of the descending chamber, there is a hole in the ceiling that leads to what they call the ascending chamber. Let me see if I can get this. Ah, nope. Hang on a second. There we go. It's a little tricky. Uh, I put this ladder here so I can actually get into it. And this ascends up to a room that they call the Grand Gallery, which looks like this, which is really cool. I like this room a lot. And it keeps ascending up at this angle. And the the ceiling is vaulted kind of like this. It's actually vaulted a little differently. This is kind of my representation of it in Minecraft. But I do like the way this room looks. At the base of the Grand Gallery. Oh, and this, this looks like it was meant to be like, you know, a meeting room or something like that. But they think that this is where they stored some of the big stones that were used to block the passageway after the burial. The bottom of the Grand Gallery is a horizontal tunnel that leads out to the uh, what's called the Queen's Chamber. So this is the the so-called Queen's Chamber. It's uh, the lower of the two chambers and the smaller of the two inside the pyramid. It has vaulted ceiling like this, which is probably done to relieve the, the, the weight of all the blocks on top. And it is, uh, it's, it's pretty much set dead center on the north-south axis of the pyramid. It is a little bit off center on the east-west. If we go back to the Grand Gallery, we can ascend up to the upper chamber, the so-called King's Chamber. So at the top of the Grand Gallery, we have this uh, horizontal tunnel that goes into the King's Chamber. And there's this interesting uh, space above where I think the there was a stone that was up here that was lowered into place to block the passageway once the, the, the pharaoh was buried. And then this is the king's chamber. Now, I have all this done in, uh, in uh, sandstone, but in reality, the king's chamber is actually uh, all faced in rose-colored granite, which happens to look very similar to the uh, the granite in the game. I know everyone hates this granite, but I actually think it's kind of appropriate. And over in this corner here is the sarcophagus that they found. Now the sarcophagus, interestingly enough, is uh, was kind of unfinished. And what they think was the original sarcophagus got lost on its way to be installed. And the sarcophagus is bigger than the ascending passageway. So uh, they, it seems like they probably brought it up when they got the pyramid built up to this point, they brought in the sarcophagus, but they think the sarcophagus that's there in place is actually a replacement, which is interesting. But I have something else in this shulker box, a cake. And it's special because it's a birthday cake, because it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Nom, 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 nom. Hmm. Yum. All right. So, this is the uh, the King's Chamber. This is my birthday cake. And I'm probably going to redo all of this in this granite. Because that's kind of more accurate. And it's actually the right granite. Which is kind of cool. But, I'm not going to do that right now. Because there's nothing beneath these sandstone blocks and it's going to take a little bit of work to replace all this. I just didn't realize it until after I got all this built that it was actually all faced in this sort of rose colored granite, which is interesting. And the sarcophagus is made out of the same. Uh, it's, it's carved out of a single block of granite. So anyway, 
Now, this doesn't look anything like the pyramid that uh, you've seen before, and that's uh, for a good reason. Let me get down to below, and I will show you what else I've done. So I built the passageway to be just a little shorter than you would normally want it, but it's kind of, uh, I think it's kind of appropriate. As I said, when you get down to this point here, this is where the ground floor is, but there's no, there's no door, or is there? I happen to have a key. <gasps> there we go, secret door. Very cool. Okay, uh, let me switch the video settings back to uh, to something that will actually look decent so we can see what's going on here. So my secret doorway here is, uh, the mechanism is buried down here. I have a little switch right here. And it's just a double piston extender. Two sticky pistons pushing a couple of slime blocks, which uh, push up these sandstone blocks. And there's a couple of observers here. And it, it does this this really slick little thing. And when this uh, redstone torch is lit, the it extends. And you saw how quick that happened. It's super quick. Uh, it's just this little sequence where that updates the piston, the upper piston, which triggers this guy, which powers this block, which triggers him, which powers the lower piston. And uh, and then that, I don't know, the, the whole sequence goes pretty quickly. And I have some additional redstone here running underneath because that's underneath, that's the hallway right there. So I can put down a pressure plate or a, uh, or a lever and trigger it from the hallway itself. I want to figure out a, a cleaner way of doing it. It retracts a little bit slower than it extends, but that's totally fine makes for a really neat hidden uh, hidden doorway and the cool thing is because the glazed terracotta blocks are not they're not pushable by uh, slime blocks it uh, they blend in a little bit better and they're a little bit more appropriate than say putting down note blocks or obsidian or whatever so there's the closed thing pretty cool still working I'm still playing around with the the sort of key mechanism but I think it works pretty well so inside here you can see the uh, the actual structure here and where it actually goes and it's pretty it's pretty slick you've got uh, we go to the mid midpoint of the the pyramid here you can see the the lower the the Queen's chamber and then the upper King's chamber it goes you know it's there's a lot of space above it to the tip of the pyramid but that's the way it is inside the real thing it's pretty close uh, I had to fudge things just a little bit to get them so that the, the chambers are in about in the right place but the the hallways uh, the passageways are about correct so it's pretty cool I'm pretty pretty excited about it and the cool thing is since I have a way of doing it in doorways, I could build off of these and just put another doorway in and I could build additional chambers or I could go down below and do uh, do chambers down there. The hallway off the back of the subterranean chamber, speculation is that it may have been the intention to put the a second burial chamber for the queen underneath there. Not entirely sure. Uh, but then when uh, Khufu changed his mind, and wanted them up inside the pyramid, which was unusual. This is somewhat, I think, a unique uh, chamber arrangement for the Egyptian pyramids. So anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you've seen this, but uh, I've made a few little changes, put some squid heads up. I've got like four shulker boxes filled with ink sacs, and I, I added a couple control buttons so I had buttons on the inside to do this but here and I put a redstone lamp so click on this and it ejects the uh, the shulker box that's currently loaded and being filled up so I can check it and see I'm about halfway full almost exactly halfway full and then I can pop it back in if I push this button it will just force the loading of the next empty shulker box into place so if I wanted to just grab whatever was in there currently I could do hit the eject button grab it and then load up another shulker box 
And there's probably nothing here right now because Barb is on. So the farm isn't being terribly productive. But uh, when no one else is on, this actually works pretty, pretty, pretty uh, gangbusters. It's pretty cool. And down below, it looks exactly the same. So that's that. Uh, I think just wanted to do a little uh, showcase of what I've got here and have some birthday cake and say happy birthday to me. So there we go. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to uh, show you and that's it. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching. This is Theron, it's Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.